we're talking about hunger being a real threat to scores of students, not only at Stellenbosch, but also across the, the country. It's an issue that affects campuses and what, that one might not usually associate with, with food scarcity. And like the, that of the tree-lined streets of, of Stellenbosch, yet it is here in the heart of our wine country, heart of our agricultural country where some of the country's richest people reside that students are finding it hard to access food and it's a threat to the physical mental as well as the educational well-being this is an excerpt from Stellenbosch University message to faculties about the hunger crisis on campus as we navigate the start of the 2024 academic year Stellenbosch University is facing an unfolding emergency of student hunger right now as we are about as we go about our third week of classes there were at least 5000 students among us who are silently battling hunger your urgent assistance is required please our social workers are overstretched and our hashtag move for food emergency food initiative has been stretched to its limits. The need for non-perishable food and donations has become critical. The challenges we face as a community is exacerbated by delayed NISFAS food allowance payments. Joining me now is Regan Johnson of the Stellenbosch University SRC. How critical or how important is this warning, Regan, that there are something like 5,000 Stellenbosch University students going hungry at the moment? Regan, good morning. Everyone and to your listeners, Obviously, that is, that is what we are currently facing as an institution. And from the Students Representative Council, this makes us our work for us a bit more harder. So dealing with accommodation crisis, and then after that, we had um, the, the registration period where we had to negotiate with, with our institution to get... Um, uh, students' uh, blocks lifted in order for them to register. Now we are currently facing a hunger hunger um, situation at our campuses, and mainly is because of our, our um, national institution, which is NASFAS, about the disbursements of fees and funds and allowances, and that really just shows the maladministration. Of, of what NASFAS is currently doing to our students and also not the heart and the morality and also values that, that they, they, they are literally disregarding and, and letting our students um, go to bed hungry. Firstly, it's, it, it becomes hard for the institution also to provide all this necessary stuff. Also, as you see, this is not our main priority and our main mandate to provide food and, and say, other sources of, of, of stuff or living um, stuff to live of because we are a student representative council with the student administrative yeah. council. Uh, Regan, paint us a picture here. Um, I've seen the images of students who have not yet been issued accommodation, sleeping in halls, mm. sleeping in, um, in sports centers. But give us a picture on the crisis of hunger. What are students doing? Um, where are they going to for a meal? Are they having to rely on stations where people are giving out food parcels? Paint us the picture on, on, this, on, this, on, on, this, on this crisis of hunger at the moment. Currently, um, what I to my, my, my knowledge now is that we have, um, or as, as I just heard also now, that the move for food is also currently. So that was the main source where students could go to to get food. And currently it's, it's just becoming, it's becoming strong. And, and imagine now, like, students not having food uh, is just yeah I personally don't know as the SRC was not contacted um, like the hunger um, crisis it's only accommodation and stuff like that but we, we, we should note that this is a ripple effect that is currently happening because now they don't have accommodation that's why NASFAS is not allocating funds that's uh, it's, it's 
it's just we are in dire need of assistance. Um, the institution are, are keen to work together with, with different stakeholders mm. to, to help our students. Regan Johnson, Stellenbosch University, SRC Communications Manager. There is an urgent need for assistance of something like 5,000 students at Stellenbosch University. This is not just a, an issue of physical and mental health. What about education? You're at a university, you're at an institution to study. We know how undernourishment impacts on learning at primary, at high school level. What about at universities? There are initiatives like Stellenbosch's Move for Food program. And they're trying to raise funds and donations to make life a little bit easier for these students facing a hunger crisis.